Good morning, everyone. Dr. Vicki here speaking to you from the Caesar Transformation Healing Center. Uh, it's relatively quiet this morning. Today is Thursday, um, the 28th of November, and the moon is in Scorpio. The moon is in Scorpio all day and all day tomorrow. Scorpio is a deep feeling energy. Scorpio is not afraid to confront what needs to be confronted. Um, very in its way brave, um, brave sign, deeply emotional, spiritual, and transformational. So we have opportunities um, to have those experiences um, today, over the next two days, the last two days of November, the month that nearly shattered us. <laughs> you don't mind me saying. Oh, geez. Uh, and uh, December actually uh, promises to be maybe even a little bit more exciting um, than um, November, but I will talk about that. I'll be putting my uh, first week of December astrology out. Lots of things happening. So what I would say, this is a time um, to get together uh, if you so choose with the people that you love. It is Thanksgiving here in the U.S. And uh, we will have, uh, some of us will have time with our families. Some will have time with our friends. And some, would, some of us would prefer just to have a quiet Thanksgiving and give thanks for all the blessings that we have. Um, we have today a sextile between Ceres. Ceres is a minor planet. Uh, she used to be an asteroid, but was promoted the same time Pluto was demoted to a minor planet. Of course, nobody told Pluto, and certainly he doesn't act like a minor planet in our charts, and probably neither does Ceres if we really pay attention. Ceres is in Capricorn, the sign of having authority in your own life. It makes a sextile. It makes a sextile to Neptune. And um, this is a, a sextile of... Um, this is this is a sextile of uh, progressive change, progressive change. This morning when I was, uh, you know, going through my feed, my YouTube feed, I saw something about another woman in Texas um, that they have determined that um, she died because they wouldn't treat her. Uh, she was having a miscarriage and they wouldn't do a DNC, which was the thing that would have saved her life. Um, and uh, another, another um, mother lost. She had two children and a husband. And, uh, in, uh, and I know a lot of you live in Texas. So, um, you know, I don't know. There's a war on women, for sure. There's a war on our rights. And uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna stand for it. Uh, <clears throat> but how that's gonna uh, how that's gonna develop, um, we can talk about another time. But this series Neptune um, aspect requires a certain amount of compassion um, and understanding. Of course, not for the not for the arbiters of death but uh, for the people and the families who uh, unnecessarily have lost loved ones to this scourge. Um, this is the kind of Scorpio stuff that sort of bubbles up. So take the day slowly. Do your best. If you uh, want to interact with, you know, family members for whatever reason, or you don't want to act with, re interact with family members, and things get a little bit too upsetting just walk on by walk outside if you can <laughs> it's not like 10 feet of snow so if you're wondering what that is 
<laughs> Michael heard that we were going to have a cold snap. And so we got a, a we got wood. <laughs> we got wood, which is probably going to last us for two years. But there it is. There's the wood. Uh, it's a lot of wood to move. We'll see. We'll see how long that takes. <laughs> All right. I will help, of course. I will pitch in. All right, guys. Have yourself a wonderful Thanksgiving. I just wanted you guys to know that I'm so very thankful for you in my life. Um, knowing that you guys, like, see me in the morning or see the, see the yard in the morning, I get to share the little beauties of my life and the challenges we all face we are in this together, guys. Don't you forget it. Don't you forget it. <laughs> so, I don't know. Not much to see anymore in the garden, but uh, it's, all, it's beautiful all the same, just in a different way. Yes? All right, guys. Take care. Have a great day. Have a great Thanksgiving. And uh, count your blessings. Love you.